Welcome back. Um, so we, we talked a little bit about blocked regulation and, and negative regulation. When we unblock usually toxins that are stored in the body, blocking pathways, uh, and they begin to move out of the body. It's detoxification, you know, a healing crisis or cleansing reaction can ensue where there's symptoms, often old symptoms. And it's, 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 it's fascinating how sometimes you, you'll, if you're the person experiencing this, you'll actually be able to identify a certain time in your life, maybe a certain experience in your life that's associated. Why our, our, our memories are, are actually state dependent as well, and when we, we reactivate these uh, toxins, I mean, I've had cases where where a person retraced or went back through and healed and cleansed uh, ether from from. Uh, a surgery that was like 20 years ago, and the people around them were smelling ether as well. So, so there's a physical component. This is not just a a, a, a mental memory; it's a physical memory as well. There's a very uh, material aspect to it. But we do have state-dependent memory, where uh, the the as we retrace, retrace the healing, going back through these unfinished uh, healing processes, incomplete healing that we've had in the past, that that, that accumulate like layers, like the layers of an agate, you know, deposits from the center outward and you have these layers like rings in a tree. You know, we're, we're dissolving those layer by layer. And that's called retracing in, in homeopathy. Uh, you know, it's been observing this for 200 years where they've seen even layers that come from previous generations. Uh, you know, even 10 years ago, speaking about, about uh, these kind of things uh, of inherited miasmatic uh, layers uh, of of you know uh, functional change in the in the DNA, you know we just get laughed at you know but and you know couldn't even scientists couldn't even hear it and now they're all excited about epigenetics. Well, it's the same thing. We've been talking about it for 200 years and they're fresh you know the, the fresh kids on the block. Uh, you know, beginning to see, because the science has gotten to a point where they can see the detail, they can get a picture of, you know, some of these epigenetic effects, but they're still missing the biggest piece that the epigenetics is a response to the environment. So the stimulus is still being ignored. You know, the, you know, as, as human beings, we're visual beings. It's our dominant stimulus is light. We're light beings. Uh, we're even learning how our cells can live on light. Uh, you know, it's been been proven with with some organisms, and and theoretically, uh, you know, we can extrapolate. There's certainly plenty of extrapolation in conventional science. In fact, most theory uh, in conventional science is extrapolation, not actual observation. And theory in general can never be proven. It, it is, in a sense, any theory is an extrapolation from the the, the facts, the the observations. But to the extent that it's explanatory, it's it's useful, and if we find a better explanation, we have a better theory. Well, the clinical theory of everything that we'll be uh, teaching you over the next six months, uh, seven months from now, you know, we're starting in, in a month or so, so from the six months that, that we drill into the details of it, uh, you're going to learn a way of thinking about every aspect of life, body, mind, and spirit, you know, the physical from the physical matter and the, from the quantum physics of the subatomic structure of matter all the way to the cosmos that surrounds us, the, the, the cathedral of the heavens that we see when we go out outside our, the boxes of our homes and offices. And, you know, when we go outside the box of our culturally imposed thinking, we can see, we, you will see with me as we take this tour, that we are living sentient beings in a living sentient fractal universe. We are cellular as is matter, as is the cosmos, and it's all uh, of the same substance, of the same design, the same mathematics repeated again and again at different scales. Uh, the true you know, definition of a fractal. Uh, it's holographic. All, all is in each part, and each part is in, you know, has is a window to the to the whole. Uh, like every cell in the body contains the DNA that codes for every part of every cell in the body, whether it's a nerve cell or a, a kidney cell or a, a bone cell. Uh, they're all designed. They're all uh, coded in that same DNA that's in each cell. 
So um, now we're back on uh, uh, the the particular topic for today, I'm just beginning to share with you uh, some of my thoughts. We're going to go through the course in a particular sequence. The third topic that we're going to cover, the third week that we're going to we're going to explore uh, mixed regulation. So. Uh, from going from blocked regulation, we unblock it, we begin to detoxify and feel that as negative regulation. We feel worse before we feel better. That's a clue that we're moving in the right direction because we did something that we know was good for us, was tested and matched energetically and by consciousness matched to our state as a healing uh, input, a healing stimulus. The healing comes from the body. The healing is the response not the drug, it's the response. Drugs don't heal, whether they're natural or synthetic. The synthetic ones are generally toxic. They are, the body is not prepared genetically to, to be exposed to any synthetic compound that's been invented in the last hundred years. Uh, no matter how much research has gone into getting a, a, you know, a, a patent and a, a, you know, a, a government enforced, you know, by force of, of law, which means threat, duress, coercion, and, and threat of violence, uh, a monopoly on on selling that to us to supposedly solve an issue. Well, the issue it solves usually is to suppress a symptom. Well, the symptom is a sign that the body is in action. It's taking action. It's trying to heal itself. It's smart. It's smarter than we are. Smarter than than, you know, uh, a doctor, uh, smarter than, than your own mind. You know, the conscious mind handles, you know, uh, a few dozen bits of information per second, where the, the uh, according to conventional theories, and we'll, you know, we'll bust, bust that myth, but, but the, what is thought of as the, the subconscious, you know, is, is millions of times that. Uh, in, amount of information that's being processed, and that's how you survive. Not by what you think, but why what actually happens in your body. Uh, uh, I remember crossing the continental divide as a uh, on a vision quest, you know, in a, a native uh, an Indian reservation in Montana uh, when I was uh, an intern at the All Indian uh, Job Corps Center, Kicking Horse Job Corps Center out in Montana, and I was all on my own crossing without a path, without a map, crossing the Continental Divide. Uh, I'm lucky to be here, and I know I'm blessed you know, to be here in this bio body suit, still having this experience after that experience, and I know it, because my body stopped me from falling down a thousand foot cliff, and there were, were bones at the bottom from, from, from mountain, uh, mountain sheep. So, you know, they're better equipped <laughs> for that terrain than I was. But literally, I, I was, I was, in, in vision, uh, communicating with the elders in, in, a, in tongues <laughs> unknown to me, you know, out of like prayer for, for help from those who know the terrain uh, and are in spirit. But spirit is every, every bit present here now. We're not always open to it. But when we open the gates of our perception and our mind, our, our, our thinking, uh, we can receive all kinds of grace. Uh, we should invite that and, and give gratitude for that. And the more we do, the more we open ourselves to receive or actually to flow. You know, it's not that we receive and become this, you know, stagnant vessel. Uh, we are toroidal field structures. We are, we are not a thing. There's no thingness. You know, ask the quantum physicists when you look at deeper and deeper. Ultimately, you see there is beyond all the things, there's there's just field, there's consciousness, there's energy uh, and relationship. It's all connected. And we see it all even in, in the smallest uh, piece of space. There's the, the background energy, the, the you know, the uh, vacuum energy. Well, it's not a, va a vacuum is our, our concept of if we take everything out, what's left? You know, there's space and there's no thingness. Well, there's, there's actually lots of things still in a vacuum. We can't make a perfect vacuum here on Earth, and you can't. There isn't a perfect vacuum anywhere in space. There's always something, and even if there were no identifiable thingness, there's this vacuum energy, uh, which others and I, 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 I like. I, I adopt the terminology that others have proposed that it's really a plenum. If we call it a plenum and think of it as a plenum, which means fullness rather than emptiness, it's full of 
relationship to everything that is. There's there's as much energy in a little you know cubic centimeter of space as there is in all of the matter and 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 observable energy uh, in form in the entire visible universe, the Hubble sphere, the cell that we can, our visual cell, or the light sphere that we can interact with. So, uh, as you can probably begin to guess, the, uh, the concepts interrelate and they go on and on, and my job in this course is going to bring that down to uh, digestible bites for you and, and and we're going to follow an outline, and we're going to have question and answer sessions, uh, and we're also uh, going to be developing you know, additional study materials. As I say, there's already there's books and DVDs as well that are already available to you through Amazon. So uh, go ahead and check those out. Uh, if you look up the uh, clinical theory of everything, just put in clinical theory of everything in, in uh, Google, you can uh, see some of the stuff there. Uh, or, uh, as I mentioned, the book, As Above, So Below, uh, for those who want to delve into some of the deeper thinking, the more cosmic, fractal thinking uh, of the microcosm and macrocosm and how we, are, as in Oriental, Oriental medicine, Oriental language and philosophy, you know, the human being sits between heaven and earth, uh, all connected. Uh, so we can understand ourselves and our own situation all the more by seeing those relationships to what's greater and what's lesser. The context and the, you know, the container, and we're going to look at the contents and unpack that for you know identifying where the healing needs to happen and how to support that, how to stimulate and support healing rather than suppress symptoms, uh, which blocks regulation and puts us in this state where oh, nothing works, oh, okay, we're slowly, slowly dying. We're either, we're either growing spiritually, living, learning and, and adapting and responding, or we're just slowly dying. That's unfortunately the, 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 the choice that we've been faced in our culture is to go with the culture of death and, you know, don't complain about it. Or if you do, I'll give you another drug. Uh, or, you know, you can be one of the you know, early adopters of the way that's coming. That is a way that is more open to receiving light, which means we have to let go of darkness, we have to let go of ego, we have to let go of attachment to what it is we think we know of how we have been, because who we're becoming is who we truly are as a transcendent being, our future self, I call it. And that's where we're headed in this course. But, but with all the pieces in place along the way, so, you know, we're, when all is said and done, we can really focus on the process of manifesting that fullness of our, our saintly selves uh, so we can give all that we're meant to. We can follow our, our, our mission, our calling in this in this round and uh, do the best for ourselves and the, all those around us. So, see you next time. Aloha. Mm -hmm.